you know Tell me world, where am I to go? Young, broken, infamous, I'm feeling kinda low Wait! Wait! Wait, man, I'm sorry if I was too loud But wait! Perfect war, man! By far the best war Plunder Zombies has ever had And I'm pumped, man! War recap number 3, ladies! Plunder Zombies vs Bang Bros V Z Vizsla, whatever you want to call it, man. But instead of doing the banging, they got fucking wrecked. That's all I know. 30 to 22 was the overall war win, man. And let's jump straight. I'm currently in fucking video production, man. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> let's jump into this, man. Now I was a part of this war, so I, I was excited because of that. But uh, man, it was just a perfect one. Everything was going right. We all performed really well, and we got some good attacks to show you guys today. And sorry if the video's long, but let's jump straight into it. I said that already. Fuck. Now my, we're gonna go ahead and start off with my attack. So I'm coming in with. Let me, let me pause this real quick, right? Let's pause this real quick. This is the current um current army composition that I use for regular multiplayer matches. Just that I tweak it every now and then for uh for war, and I found a perfect tweak, a perfect tweak for this base, man. Now, coming in with uh, the Go Valk attack, and you guys know me, I've been rocking Valkyrie since day one, baby. Since before the buff, before they became a meta, unfortunately, man. But yeah, um, coming in with the Go Valk, Go Valk attack, along with an AQ walk. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started now. So, uh, I started my AQ walk um, top left right here. Now, what I'm trying to do is to create the funnel for my golems, because I want them to funnel in towards the base. So, I wanted my... Uh, uh, my bad my uh, queen to bring down this cannon this with the tower and this archer tower but i noticed that this archer tower was out of range so i spawned three wall breakers and peace out man one of them had to die i forgot that the expo was in range i forgot man the pressure so i wait till my valkyrie brings down this for the tower so I, i'm about to drop a rage on her right now and i bring down this um archer tower right here with, with a balloon and a minion but dropping a rage spot right here and at this point i was like okay uh we can go ahead and get by now with this uh funnel so instead of breaking in my troops, I drop a jump spell right away, and I'm starting to create a funnel right here with my few wizards and some bowlers. I brought in the bowlers just to reach for uh, the defensive structures behind, like a second layer, whether it be of walls or of uh, other structures, right behind other structures. Then I drop my Valkyries and my king, drop in a rage spell, healing spell, and the freeze spell. Now the freeze spell freezes for eight seconds. I know you guys know that, but I dropped it maybe slightly once, one second slightly too early because. Look at this, man. This base isn't even maxed. Keep in mind, you guys, it's not a max town of 10, and I barely managed to bring down that Inferno Tower. Barely. Before it melts the shit out of my Valkyries. And that kind of... I'm not gonna lie, that kind of pissed me off, man, because it's an easy base. I, I three-star... I'm not trying to sound cocky here, but I three-star tougher bases uh, on, like, on a daily when I go out to, to make some loot. And I was barely able to three-star this guy. And look at this. The Golem banging on the wall. The healer switch over to the Golem, but after he's at full health... Somehow, going at full health, they switch, it to, they switch over to um, towards my queen, and that's that's pretty good. But at this point, the troops at the bottom all die. I drop a potent spell in anticipation to try to like take out some um, pups right here, trying to help on my wizards, but they die. And my king dies, and at this point, it's just my queen. But this was a miracle, man. Look at this. All the pups go for my golem instead of my queen, and I got so lucky because I was running out of time. And typically with uh, AQ walks at 10 out of 10, at least from my, from my experience, my queen is always the last one standing and she's the one that cleans up around maybe maximum I've ever seen her clean up on her own was 30% and she brought that 3 star home. And now she's doing something similar here, you know, let's go ahead and fast forward it. Just uh, use her ability towards the end, but yeah, she brought home the 3 star and I was, I was excited but it was a close call, man. I think I had like 5 seconds left, so uh, definitely a pretty close one. And although I was kind of excited, it was kind of an iffy one because I barely managed to pull it off and it wasn't uh, that hard of a base. But fuck it, I'll take it, man. Now let's go ahead and show you guys a Town Hall, um, a Town Hall 9 version of this. So Dark Knight coming in with the same thing, um, AQ walk with the go back attack, but instead he's he's tweaking it for, for, for a Town Hall 9 uh, attack because he doesn't have bowlers, right, obviously. So he's going to go ahead and create, um, I guess, the funnel on one side with the AQ walk. So he wants to get rid of this uh, cannon. Um, this mortar, but specifically this this air defense right here. Oh, I forgot we can do that. <laughs> even, even this is even better, man. But yeah, he's trying to bring down this. I forgot we can do that. 
But yeah, he's trying to bring on this air defense. That way his queen can be basically up for the remaining of this entire raid because Town on Knights don't have to deal with Infernos. And if you have the healers on your queen for the entire raid, they're gonna go. She's gonna go fucking ham. And then he's trying. Now he's uh, starting his funnel right here. Beautiful job with the golem queen and the proper funnel with the wizards. And notice how he's gonna save maybe one wizard towards the end of this raid. Now he's creating the funnel on the right side. Now he didn't have to create the funnel on the right side, but it turned out to be a, a good thing because. Now, instead of these defensive structures targeting their troops, uh, his troops are now because they're, they're out of existence, basically. And now he has one golem working his way around the base, uh, dropping the rest of the remaining of his troops um, towards the inner core of this base. And notice, oh, by the way, dropping a race ball on the queen, because once the, if an expo and any other defense targets your queen, I think it has to be a max for Town Hall 9 uh, defenses, though. But once that happens, they start... Um, Counteracting, um, countering the, the healing effect of the healers. But yeah, getting back to the topic. So, once he dropped his troops in the core, I'm not sure if you noticed um, the Lava Hound went over his ground troops instead of his queen, and that turned out to be a good thing in his favor because his queen wasn't distracted whatsoever. She kept doing work, man. She kept going ham, breaking her way out of a wall right here. And because the ground troops can't obviously attack uh, or be attracted by air troops, they're just gonna keep doing work, man. And the Lava Hound alone can't do damage, damage, um, damage to them. So. A lot of Valkyrie still up, both heroes still up, dropping some cleanup troops towards the end of the ba uh, raid, and he still has both heroes' abilities, man. Uh, a golem, probably still at full health right here, bitch has golem right here. I hate when that happens, but Queen's still doing massive work, and you see how she's still uh, cleaning up defensive structures on the left side of the base, because she wasn't distracted with that Lava Hound, man. Beautiful raid, couldn't have gone any better. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted, uh, if he wanted it to go this... Um, I guess this well but it, it, it just did and he pulled it off beautiful three star by dark dark knight right there man definitely displaying some skill now that was the town hall 9 version and obviously there's no town hall 8 version right but let's go ahead and show you guys the town hall 8 attack because again with these war recap videos i want to show you guys attacks from all different town, um, town hall levels not just the top level because i want to show you my class potential and that's that's why i love my clan man but vvg let's go ahead and look at his attack and you guys have seen him attack before good good attacker man Especially at the lower uh, town hall level. So coming in with uh, Gohog and again, we see two golems bringing in two golems Now you don't have to bring in two golems uh, for this attack. I'm talking about town hall 8 specifically here But <clears throat> like I said before I've seen people come in with one golem majority of the time It's it's one golem, but uh, either option is fine I just I just personally think that two golems give gives you a bigger spread and therefore uh, more control over your raid especially if you're really selective with your hogs because you can control both sides of the bases depending on how your golems uh, funnel out of the base but yeah so <laughs> we see him again bringing down the clan castle troops with the wizard and the barbarian thing right there beautiful tactic right there and then starting the proper funnel right here now notice how he, he's getting a good spread right here probably gonna save uh three oh so saving three wizards towards the end of the um base just in case um right and his golems just funnel uh funnel out perfectly man he's gonna go ahead and, and have two golems on this left side it would have been better if his other golem would have gone towards the right side, but he, he compensates for that with his king. Look at that, dropping a few wizards behind his king. His king is tanking, being really selective with his hogs, and now they're going to do massive work, man. He waited to clear off enough structures off towards the side. That way, when he drops the max hogs, they go towards the inner core of the base, and peace out right there, man. GG, beautiful spell placement, and the max hogs, or the hogs in general, are just going to do massive work towards the inner core of the base, and he's working his way around the base. Uh, perfectly fine man a lot of wizards still remaining dropping the last few wizards and clean up um chips like the archers around the base on these defense uh, structures out here just in case you know he wasn't ever gonna he wasn't gonna be able to make it but he does man and oh my god look how, look at how many troops he still has up he even has max golem he said fuck the poison spells if he's not gonna use them, I'm, I'm gonna have to tell him to bring in like an earthquake spell or something else, man, just in case. Because look at this. Pure, pure savagery. Fucking savage, basically, right here, man. Look at this. Oh my god. And that's gonna do it for the war recap, man. So let's see how long it was. Nine minutes in. Okay, okay. I don't wanna keep it any any. I don't wanna make it any longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this perfect war. You, these attacks are just amazing, man. I'm proud of my clan. We put off a perfect war. We haven't in a while. Matter of fact, I don't think we even have had done that in a, at all. But yeah, man. <laughs> um, let's hope. Hopefully, we can continue that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, you don't have to jump to be good. Just keep practicing.